Hey guys, you 2 here, and welcome to what is potentially the most skillful team on Thief 16 Ultimate Team. And now the reason I am saying that is because this team has got six five-star skillers in, and all cost you just 25k. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome team. I believe it does have the most five-star skillers you can actually have in a team with every single player on nine of ten chemistry. This is actually a no links wasted team as well, which is pretty cool. Without actually using uh, a legend, so you'd have to use I think Pele or JJ Kocha as a centre mid. So that would be very expensive. So uh, yeah, this is the most skillful, affordable team that we can make. Uh, it's not going to be the best when it comes uh, to defending and potentially winning games. The 3-4-2-1 formation uh, is not the best defensively. I have got very attacking midfield, but if you like filming skill compilations or anything like that, and you need a team full of skillers, this is the perfect team for you. So starting off in goal, we have gone with Lopez. He's an awesome keeper on this game. Really good diving, great reflexes as well. He's not the tallest, but he'll make you some great uh, saves up close. Very, very good keeper, one of my favorites. Yeah. Moving into the defense, we start off in the left centre back position with Yanga and Biwa. Really, really nice stats there. You've got 76 pace, 79 standing, and 87 forward. Six at all. He's also got some really nice work rates as well. He's going to be a solid uh, defender there. He just does everything you really want for in the sky front centre back. In the middle, I've decided to go with Marquinhos. Now you can use Thiago Silva or Davi Luiz, but uh, Thiago Silva costs about 25k. Davi Luiz has got high medium work rate. He's the attacking midfielder in this team. I've decided to go with Marquinhos. He's a lot better defensively. He is going to stay back. And finishing off the defense, I've gone with Big Al, who really is one of the best hidden gems on this game. 85 physical, 75 percentage, 74 take, 6 from 3, and he's also got good work rate and he's very, very strong. Moving into the midfield, we start off in the left mid position with Fidel Martinez. He has got 76 pace, 78 dribbling, and uh, yeah, generally just a really good player on the ball. He's very good at dribbling, uh, he's quick, uh, and combined with the five best skills and the high dribbling, he's going to be really lucky the ball off. Not the best shooting or passing, though, so I recommend passing off to someone uh, if they are going to have the shot. Moving into the centre midfield position, I've decided to start off in the left centre position here with Raphael Fobis. He had 5 star skills back on Team 13, Team 12 with the Retro Teamsters. 4 star skills though now, and yeah, he's a well rounded centre mid. Next to him, I've decided to go with Elton, uh, one of the best silver 5 star skillers I've used on Team 16. First time I actually used him was in this squad here, and yeah, 5 star skills. He's only 5 foot 2, but he's got really good pace, he's got great dribbling, and also good shooting and passing for a silver. In the right mid position, we've decided to go with what is potentially my best or my favourite 5 star skiller on this game uh, for a silver player is Aldasari, 90 pace, 72 shooting, which is actually a really good for a silver player, and also 76 dribbling and 72 physical, so high physical and pace makes him very hard to get the ball. Moving into the strike force, so the front three of this team, we start off with the silver Ronaldo in the left wing position, and uh, yeah, he's got 80 pace, 75 shooting, 71 passing, 75 physical, 77 dribbling, amazing stats for him, he's got really high long shots and free kick stats as well, 5 star skills, and yeah, he's an absolute beast in this game. In the right wing position, I've decided to go with Kelvin, and uh, yeah, I've used him a lot recently uh, in some of my skill score builders, and uh, if you haven't seen my latest skill compilation, I did score some really nice goals for using Kelvin uh, in that video, and uh, yeah, 82 pace, 83 dribbling, I believe that's the highest for any silver player on this game. You really can tell that in game, he's got good physical as well, and combine that with the pace, uh, he's very hard to get the ball off. And we complete the team with Guilano, I did convert him from a cam to a striker, and he plays very, very well there. 82 pace, 84 dribbling, 5 star skills yet again. He's the 6th 5 star skiller in the team. And uh, yeah, 76 shooting and 75 passing. Uh, really good kind of complimenting playing as a striker. Having really good passing is awesome because he's going to be able to uh, play a quick pass whenever. Maybe you school past the entire opposition's team and you just want to play it across the box. Uh, for a quick uh, kind of skill finish, cut back, something like that from someone else, maybe a Rabon across him, something like that. He's going to be your man. He's got the good passing, so he'll be able to uh, easily do a little flick or a little pass like that when you do need it at the end. Because there's nothing worse than doing a really nice kind of a skill run, getting through on goal, maybe you take around the keeper, uh, do a fancy pass to someone, you want them to finish it into the back of the net, and he just messes up the pass. So that's really good. And uh, something I did find with the team. Uh, that seemed to happen a lot was me scoring bicycle kicks, scorpion kicks, and uh, just really cool goals like that because uh, scorpion kicks and uh, also flying back eels both look extremely cool, as do bicycle kicks and scissor kicks as well. 
Uh, they look really, really cool. And since you do have a right and left mid who are going to be swinging the ball in all the time, uh, you've also got the three players up front. So you've got Arroyo, Kelvin, and Guilano. All of them are going to be competing uh, in the air to win those uh, those uh, finishes with a bicycle kick, anything like that. And uh, yeah, having the three people there, that uh, that normally means that they're going to outnumber your opposition d uh, defensive centre backs. So unless they are playing three at the back, you're going to have one more player than them in the middle who's going to be able to find some space and uh, be able to finish off a lot of really good uh, goals with uh, just maybe a Rabona cross, something like that. If you don't know how to do that, just press LT and cross. And uh, yeah, you'll do a Rabona when you cross it in. Then hold LT and shoot. And uh, you can score scorpion kicks, bicycle kicks, all those really cool goals like that. But uh, yeah, this is going to be my 25k skill squad builder. This is, I believe, the third skill squad builder I've brought to you guys recently. I'm going to be bringing you guys plenty of different skill teams. Showing you guys the different teams I have been using in my recent compilations. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smash the likes. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.